the projection in the book is that by the year 2030, more than half of the net worth in the world will be owned by women. And this percentage has been growing over the last uh, 30 or 40 years, primarily because more women are attending college, more women are pursuing their own careers, more women are essentially overcoming all of those barriers that once existed. And some of them, of course, continue to exist. I don't want to deny the uh, presence of uh, uh, wage discrimination or salary pay discrimination at many companies. But here's the point, Scott. The important point to keep in mind is that, yes, the pandemic has had a negative effect on women. Uh, many of them have lost their jobs, especially in retail, in restaurants, and so on and so forth. Uh, and also, women uh, during confinement in the home, they do take on average more tasks, household tasks, than men, even if they're working. Yeah. So the pandemic has been particularly hard on women. Having said that, many women who are now educated they have uh, jobs uh, such as yours or mine. They can work from the home. So they're continuing to make progress. And here in the United States, we have more women in college than men. So I think the pandemic uh, will probably come down in history as uh, you know two or three years that were very tough on women. But I think those trends towards uh, women making progress with their careers, women accumulating more wealth than in the past, I think will continue. I think this is just a, uh, a short intermission Great. in that long trend that has been going on now for 30 years or so that as i was saying earlier by the year 2030 will produce a situation in which women will own more than half of the wealth in the world <laughs>